Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Dr. Miller, and the SCP we're going to be looking at today is SCP-84. Object Class, Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-84 is currently under a full non-interaction order until the full extent of the emission waves has been evaluated. For detailed documentation on general FNI orders, see document XRG-1182. For detailed documentation on FNI orders in relation to SCP-84, see document XRG-1208-A. A continuous surveillance watch is to be maintained around the active area of SCP-84 with the primary objective of civilian misdirection and external surveillance. With no major roads, trails, or other travel routes nearby, any civilians encountered approaching SCP-84 are to be deemed suspect and detained for evaluation. Under no circumstances are any Foundation or civilian personnel allowed into the active area of SCP-84 except with express vocal and written permission of no fewer than two members of O5 Command. Sentries are to maintain their posted position with line-of-sight contact checks on fellow sentries, in conjunction with compass and landmark checking. All reference points should be well outside the active area of SCP-84. Should any sentry fail to report in via vocal roll call, full recall orders will be issued to all sentries, and containment will be re-evaluated by special response teams. In the event of active area fluctuation, full recall orders are to be assumed by all active sentries, followed by appropriate action. No form of radio, GPS, television, cell phone, video camera, still picture camera, or any other recording or electronic media devices are permitted within 100 meters of the active area around SCP-84. Civilians found with such devices within this area are to have said devices confiscated and destroyed immediately. Any recordings collected… Description. SCP-84 appears to be a large radio tower positioned in the center of a large open field with two small outbuildings. Direct observation and sample collection from SCP-84 is impossible due to the effect that is emitted around or from SCP-84. SCP-84 appears to emit a form of wave or radiation that has a detrimental effect on local space-time or reality. The most pronounced aspect of this is the alteration of local space-time within the active area of SCP-84. Externally, the active area forms a rough dome shape of 200 meters in diameter. SCP-84 appears inside this area at random points, appearing to jump at random times, sometimes even appearing in multiple locations at once inside the active area. Internally, the space appears to be unlimited, with SCP-84 at the center. SCP-84 is impossible to reach due to the emitted effect. Attempts to approach SCP-84 within the active area have returned the observation that SCP-84 retains its relative position on the horizon, even after three months and twelve days of dedicated, direct travel both by vehicle and on foot. Termination tests have proved impossible, as no means of destruction are capable of physically reaching SCP-84 even when entered from outside the active area. Local space will also distort periodically. This will cause relative distances to randomly extend or contract in a flicker, causing buildings or objects to suddenly jump thousands of meters away or rush up to other points, sometimes even causing overlaps. These overlaps have a markedly detrimental effect on living tissue. The town of is assumed to have been situated in or around the original manifestation of the active area. This town is no longer observable from outside the active area, appearing only once inside the active area. Has maintained the same population, 343 humans, for the duration of its encapsulation. Births appear to be impossible, along with normal aging patterns. And or homicide appears to be circumvented by the area of effect, with dead subjects flickering and appearing alive and unharmed several seconds after death. There are also reports of events rewinding, causing things like mortal wounds to visibly freeze and close. Subjects appear to exhibit many events of inconsistent space-time, as do most structures. For detailed observations, see Log 84-A4. 
electronic devices and recording equipment do not function correctly in or around the active area. Subjects report bizarre or unsettling transmissions from video and audio recording and playback devices. This acts to totally isolate from the outside world, precluding any need for foundation-enacted containment. It also appears impossible to leave the active area after a random period of time. One subject from found on the grass plane, see log 84A4, reported he had been traveling for six years. He was found approximately 400 meters from city limits. Log 84A4 Record of observed anomalous events relating to SCP-84 Detailed observation made of the grass plane, making up the majority of the active area. The plane appears to be made of one 10 meter by 10 meter section of grass repeated endlessly to make up the plane. Sections appear to be randomly rotated as they are formed, causing sections of grass and small ground variations to line up incorrectly. Few non-human organisms appear to exist within the active area. Those outside the active area avoid it and appear to vanish shortly after entering. Animals observed inside the active area appear normal but behave strangely. Shuddering movements, sudden shivering, repetitive loops, and other abnormal actions appear to indicate these may not be actual animals. Animals appear to flicker and vanish after three to four hours. Vocal communication is difficult within the active area. Vocal communication appears normal within five meters of the speaking subject, with reports of a slightly muffled quality reported commonly. Outside of five meters, subjects appear to be speaking from a great distance with a great deal of echoing. Reports of speech being heard several seconds after the subject has stopped speaking, and speech occurring with no subject speaking are also not uncommon. Detailed observation of the radio tower is impossible due to the inability to physically reach it, and the effect of the broadcast on most observational equipment. Basic telescope or binoculars systems show the tower to be hazy, and static fog, while more advanced equipment is subject to the anomalous broadcast effect. Weather patterns, as well as basic day-night cycles, appear to be totally random. Overhead sky will randomly cycle between day, night, clear, and other weather patterns. Relative sun and cloud position appear random as well, with frequent flickering and blurring between different states. Physical alteration or damage to anything within the active area is impossible. Actions such as digging, demolition, and new constructions will suddenly blur and be reset to their previous unaltered state at random points. Subjects inside a reset structure, such as inside a hole, will become instantly trapped and fused. Humans in the active area around SCP-84 exhibit some of the more striking and easily observed reality distortion effects. These include sudden blurring of limbs or head, appearing to suddenly gyrate at violently high speeds for several seconds before ending. Subjects experience no pain and are often unaware of this phenomenon. Looping, typically manifested as the repeating of 8 to 20 seconds of time. Subjects will go through an action, for example exiting a doorway, picking up an article of clothing, then suddenly freeze and flicker, then return to the original starting position of the loop and repeat the action even if this involves a sudden teleportation of significant distance. Rarely, subjects appear to become caught in a permanent loop. Observation and interrogation of subjects in show that basic human needs, such as food, water and sleep, are no longer required after prolonged exposure to the active area. Some subjects report not having eaten or drank for, they believe, five years. One elderly subject also reports having made 2,110 unsuccessful attempts. Subjects will sometimes be able to pass through solid matter without incident. These periods appear to last for random periods of time and begin and end without warning. Subjects inside solid matter when the period ends will become trapped or fused until the period resumes. One subject reports being trapped below the waist in a wall for two years. Extreme psychological distress is observed after long-term exposure. The transmission barrier, which is compromised over long-term exposure. Subjects in advanced reception states typically reset after several months. Recorded transmissions show a slight cycles overall. 
attempting to catalog and record these broadcasts has therefore been remanded to autonomous systems to preclude any additional loss of Foundation personnel. End log. Okay, I think that about does it for today. Thank you for listening, if indeed you still are, and you are all dismissed. Goodbye. I would like to give a special thank you to Big Sip, Zargaron, Old Crap Guy, James Saba, Braided Peach, Fire of Prime, Dr. Wolf 13, Cupster, Worthy Fire, Zazapan, Irish Wristwatch, Signar, Alatreon, your local Foundation agent, and Lost Boy. If you would like a special thank you at the end of each of my videos, and some other cool stuff as well, visit patreon.com forward slash thevolgan. Thank you.